Hey, Victor. Question. What happens to Anki? Hello everyone, it's me once again. So uh, last night I was getting tens of message uh, comments from my subscribers and my viewers saying that sadly Anki is now shutting down etc. So I thought about it, I looked into all the articles available online and I decided to keep myself calm. But then again, I'm a very positive person. I tried to look in all the positive side and etc. So just to explain to you what's going on is that it seems Anki uh, failed to get that investment in the last minute um, the company managed to raise up to 200 million and I thought that was a lot of money I mean still for 200 staff well if you give out their wages and uh, tech uh, sorry development research and so on I guess it, it's a lot of money is required um, so I guess the investors thought saw all the risks going on um, it's a bit of shame anyway, but um, my well, my input on this whole thing is that I think robot when it comes to tech, the great oracle of Omaha, uh, Warren Buffett always warned that never to invest on tech because it's very risky. But then again, Microsoft is doing very well, so we'll see how what happens. But he, it seems that when it comes to tech and then section of robotics it's a very risky um, investment to make uh, nowadays still uh, we saw Jibo failed we saw now Anki fail I never thought Anki is going to fail because they were doing so well uh, this is their third product isn't it um, so I was expecting the next robot or next tech to come along and I was so looking forward to, uh, to be the first person to buy the next thing that they're going to um, establish but I don't know whether you guys managed to get that part of that article that you know it's Amazon or Microsoft or many few actually <laughs> not many but few well-known company was willing to invest on Anki so there I think there's still five to ten percent chance that Anki might merge with a very well-known company and since it's Alexa integrated who knows that it might, you know, um, be part of Amazon. That would be quite nice. But then again, what can you do with uh, Vector now? Well, look, you look at it, it's very cute, but can you live without it? For grown up my, like myself, yes, it looks cute, it's adorable. You can ask him questions and you can see it. You can, go, you can be full of all saying, oh, it doesn't fall off the edge. It's more like a, I would say, number one for human experiments to see whether a human can actually show their emotion to this robot. Number two is to celebrate what sort of technology is available, but 250 pounds or 250 dollars is still a lot of money. Um, but overall, I would say my final, final reason why not everyone has uh, Vector is because, as I probably I said before, like you can live without a vector, really. You can. If you go on holiday, you don't really need a vector. I mean, if you say, um, but like for example, toothbrush. Once it's or internet, let's say, you can't live without these things. Once it's you. so, I guess it's a reminder that number one, robotics is a very risky business. It's very exciting, um, and but number two. I guess all the materials and the price is still very expensive. Even small robot costs hundreds and thousands of um, dollars or pounds. So material needs to be much cheaper. That therefore more popularized in the industry. Um, it's, it needs to be something that uh, can develop by itself. But mostly, most important thing I would like to say is it needs to be something that you can't live without once it's introduced. I mean, I have to say, as time goes by, I'm using less of Google Home or Alexa or, I mean, my interest on Vector, unless there has been a massive update, I just didn't show much interest, to be honest with you. My apologies as someone who introduced you guys 
uh, many of you guys about this whole vector. I mean, I do want to firstly apologize if you bought Anki Vector purely for the excitement that I bought. I want to apologize if it's very disappointing, but mine, I really thought that Anki would do well, that it will almost become like, likewise, like Sony or almost like Apple and so on. That was the whole hype that I had when I first bought it. So I never thought this is going to happen. And it's, it's a reminder. I think robotics is it's a very risky business to get involved with. But if you love it, don't give up. Keep going on with it. A lot of kids are now into STEM education and so on. And you know, I've already bought three robots that are related to STEM and um, it's going to be exciting. So I, my channel, I'm going to show a lot of robotics uh, soon. Uh, by end of this year, I have three more projects coming up. But it's sad that I keep going, but I guess rather than being sad and disappointed, I know, I know a lot of guys are still upset and sending me comments and so on. Maybe you're asking for me to express my view. I would say let's keep positive. There's still a chance, as I said, a company can, can buy it. A very well-known company. Five to 10%, I would say. Um, but nonetheless, we should celebrate the technology what mankind have done so far. An adorable, cute robot uh, that you can live without, but you can see what sort of things are available. A uh, great party sort of entertainment robot, I would say. Um, oh, well, we could go on about it, but I guess the next step is what can robotics technology do that once introduced that you cannot live without? Just like internet will be the key thing and the price needs to go down but um, overall I would just like to say thank you very much Anki well done for your works and I'm sure all your staff will do well because you guys uh, pretty much most of you guys have future-proof jobs I'm sure you guys will do well um, it's sad to see what happened on Anki but uh, let's not give up hopes on showing interest on robotics because it is the future it's the, the technology is accelerating so let's see how it goes think positive never give up let's always get excited about robotics anyway thank you very much for watching this video this is lzp bye bye